How do you connect a train to blank manuscript paper through classical music? The answer is George Gershwin. On January the 4th, 1924, Gershwin's brother Ira read in the New York newspaper George Gershwin to premiere a world-class jazz concerto. The only problem with this is that George didn't know anything about it. He decided to take the project on and the performance was to be in five weeks' time. George Gershwin was on a train from New York to Boston. He got inspired by the rhythm of the rail and he mapped out the whole piece in his head. Although at that time he couldn't orchestrate so he gave that job to somebody else. He was due to play the piano at the world premiere. Although he hadn't written down any of his solo parts, it was blank in the music for the conductor. It just said, wait for Gershwin's nod of the head. The performance was a massive success. Everybody loved the piece, except it was the one and only time the piece was ever heard like that. The orchestrator ran home and wrote down as much of the music as he could remember. And that is the music that we know and love today as Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. And here is the finale. And that's how you connect a train to blank manuscript through classical music.